Kids who are selective about what they eat often restrict their food intake, especially when it comes to vegetables and trying new foods. They may have strong preferences for certain foods and this can be frustrating for parents. However, there are simple strategies, such as serving breakfast for dinner, that can help ensure your child is getting sufficient nutrition. 1. Keep food in the house that you want your child to eat and avoid other tempting foods to be available. 2. Serve water as the only beverage at the table. 3. Pick your battles, and if they only want to eat food in a certain way, for example, eating the apple without the peel, then let them. 4. Let the kids decide when they are hungry and then offer them healthy options. Don't force your child to eat. This will lead to power struggles over food, which can set the stage for an eating disorder. 5. Give the food a cool name, for example, I used to call broccoli a small tree. 6. Praise your child if he bites, licks, smells, or tastes a new food. 7. Go out for a long walk just before lunch, when they should be hungry, and when your child asks for food, tell them you only brought an apple, or a new food you would like them to try, and cut it into small pieces for them. 8. Remember that, on average, a child needs to be offered a new food about 15 times before they may eat it, so keep introducing the new food many times before giving up. What is the connection between ADHD and picky eaters? Researchers at Duke University found a high correlation between selective eating problems and ADHD. Research indicates that children diagnosed with ADHD often disregard nutritious options in favor of sugary foods. This preference for sugar-rich foods is linked to low dopamine activity in the brain, which is characteristic of ADHD. The surge of dopamine triggered by sugar consumption reinforces this craving. Consequently, children with ADHD may reject many nutritious foods, such as vegetables and fish, because they do not satisfy the sugar cravings associated with their condition. Children with ADHD may also experience sensory defensiveness and share some motor challenges commonly observed in autism spectrum disorders. Picky eaters often display heightened sensory defensiveness, where certain tastes, smells, or appearances of food can trigger discomfort akin to feeling hurt by the sensory experience. These sensations can be so intense that children feel repulsed, panicked, or even physically sick when exposed to them. You can change a child's half-hearted reaction to foods, so don't give up.